You know, Elliot, the roll-up pant cuffs sure are a choice. Hey everybody, welcome back to more Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 2. I'm Slayer Matson. Last time we cut our way through the Aria Shrine, and this time we're gonna go and take on the trial boss for this area. First things first, Elliot, I've changed up a little bit. I've given him a bunch of bells so that he can just use his arts quicker. Um Yeah, wind bells so he can use holy breath quicker, water bell so he can use uh, Athelis, Tira quicker, uh, golden bell so he can use Seraph and Shining Ring back. Or Seraphic Ring and Shining. Nailed it. But yeah, let's go on in to the Arya Shrine Depths. Well, here we are. There it is, our fourth crystal of Zemirian ore. All that remains is to overcome the final trial, and it'll be ours. I don't know why they're so shot. Stay on guard! And here it comes! This feels like... What the? Did it just vanish? No, this was the work of- <laughs> Oops, you caught me. Up there. Grianos? So that was your doing, Vita? There's no need to be so wary of me. I merely did what you were planning to do anyway, didn't I? I just did you a favor. A likely story. You can't seriously expect us to believe that. Last time you tried to do us a favor, you abducted Elise and Princess Alfin. <sighs> oh, woe is me. I don't seem to be very popular here. What really brought you here? How did you even know this place existed? Even I didn't until Celine told me. Unlike you, I'm a fully-fledged witch, in the truest sense of the word. As such, I know everything. Far more than a trainee like you could even begin to imagine. Uh, huh. Sounds like you've long known all there is to know about this place. More than you and the Elder do, in fact. Oh, I know! Why don't I take this opportunity to enlighten you on a fun little something? That being the true purpose of the Hexen clan to which we belong. What is this light? Th this is... Something's flowing into my head. So this is what a crystal of that ancient magical ore looks like. The light from it is so beautiful, it's almost divine. Overcome the trial to find what you seek, though it was right it seems. It should grant us the strength to suppress that great calamity. Indeed. The final battle draws near, for since I first met that great knight, my fate was sealed. I will abide by it, but will you accompany me? <laughs> you need not even ask your highness. It will be by your side until the day the goddess calls me to hers. What did I just see? Another one of someone's memories? Whatever it was, I witnessed it as well. And I presume that blonde-haired woman in it must be... That shouldn't have been possible. Just what did you do for us to see that? Think of it as a special treat from me. Ordinarily, only the Ashen Awakener would have been able to see it, but I allowed the rest of you to see it, too. As for what it is, it's a glimpse of the truth regarding what really happened during the War of the Lions. The truth? And that really was a memory from... Dracul's the Lionheart, yes. And the woman with him was the Lance Maiden, Leanne Sandlot. 
During the war, they too had to borrow the strength of a divine knight, and they were drawn into a conflict between fragments of the great power. Just like Reen and Crow during this war. Wait, there's no way the War of the Lions involved divine knight battles. If that had been the case, surely the world would know of it. Actually, I have heard mention of that from Grandmother. Wait, doesn't that mean... Oh, has the truth finally dawned on you? The fragments of the great power are destined to be drawn to one another, forced to collide over and over and over. These dark times Erebonia is going through have repeated themselves since time immemorial. And every time, the truth of what happened disappears from the memories of all. That is how this system works. System? Hold on a moment. I can't... I can't follow what you're saying. Oh, don't feel bad if you're having trouble wrapping your head around it. That's perfectly normal. After all, that's just how this world is. Wait, you aren't suggesting the clan's true purpose is... Aha! Uh -huh. Did you finally realize the fundamental role we witches play? We shoulder the responsibility of operating and managing part of that giant system. <laughs> Not that I would expect an apprentice and her familiar to know anything about that. The Elder knows, of course, but she chose not to share the knowledge with you, likely fearing it would be a burden. But how pitiful is it to have lived for the sake of fulfilling your duty as a witch without knowing what that duty really is? I almost feel sorry for you. I... You're awful! How can you say something like that to someone you're meant to think of like a sister? <laughs> I heard you were a sadist, but I wasn't expecting you to be this cruel. Don't look away, Emma. There's no need to be afraid of accepting the truth. Reen? Oh? I know what it's like to be afraid of accepting new revelations about who I am or about my past. I feel like once I know, life will never be the same again. Maybe that's true, but there's one thing that I can believe in beyond a shadow of a doubt that my classmates and all the people who've stood by me through everything that we've been through will keep standing by me to the very end and accept me for who I am no matter what. <gasps> we were all from different places and different classes. People who would likely never have met otherwise. But I feel as though that made the bonds between us all that much stronger, all that much more unbreakable. Hold your head up high, Emma. There's nothing in this world that could stop us from proudly standing at your side until the bitter end. I... I don't know what to say. Hmm... Vita, thanks to you, I finally noticed the change in my own feelings. Change? I enrolled at Thor's to fulfill my duty as a witch. I won't deny that. Nor will I deny that until that point, I effectively lived to carry out that duty, obeying all I was taught without question. But that's the past. Now, I feel very different. Now, I want to live a life of my own, together with the classmates I've been fortunate enough to meet. I'm no longer the person I used to be. Ugh, Emma. Woo, you go, Emma. That's the class president we know. We all feel the same way, too. <laughs> I'm impressed. You've matured a lot more than I was expecting during your time at the Academy. Avita? But let's put that to the test, shall we? I haven't had the opportunity to train you in some time. So this is as good a chance as any to see what you're capable of now. Dance. Dance, my sweet little bird. Behold, your master's foes. Bear your fangs and raise your talons. What the? Everyone get back! Quickly! Grew? What?
What did she do to it? It's called Savant Vols. It allows a witch to pour an incredible amount of mana into their familiar. I'd imagine she's given it more power than even a cryptid possesses. <laughs> well then, Emma, let's see what you're capable of. Show me if you have the strength to back up your words. Please, everyone, lend me your power. You've got it. Leave it to us. A worthy adversary. My turn. Backing up that power is exactly what we plan to do. Griano's Aura. Venus Familiar now enlarged and filled with mana by her song. Uses strong arts and has a freezing breath. A little bit of a different thing than we were expecting now, wouldn't right, you say? Let's do this. We're going to start stay. off with a bottle of it. Just because. And we can now use Here Zodiac Rain as for her. Her S craft. Um, we are not going to use that right now. We're going to use the radiant of my training. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't use the red special since we have that plus 50 percent strength. Power. Radiant Lion. Pound it right away for seventy-four thousand elbows. Uh, at this point, we're now going to overdrive. Overdrive. And I'm gonna hold up for that second crit, I think. Uh, do you have... Okay, so you're weaker to these, I think, probably in that case. Phantom Phobia no. might be my best bet, then. Let's move! Not sure exactly of the damage amount. Um... We're gonna use Spirit Unification as well. Here we go. Pop Rean in. Burn to ash. Fatal oh. Flame Dragon. Do you some paranoid damage there? We'll also throw out a burst. We're just gonna start off by doing a ton of damage. It's my turn! And now at this point. Now we'll use Phantom Phobia again. And we'll save that Zodiac Rain for that crit. It's my turn. Right, Wave did a decent bit to everyone. In the heavens above. Answer to my voice and heed my call. Zodiac Rain is a very flashy move, I Sorry, must say. I'm gonna switch this? I'll try guys least. out so I can make sure I get a detector in. Analyzing I enemy don't attack think habits. we're gonna kill Griano's aura before then, but still, doesn't hurt to be safe. I've got it! Griano's sword? Ah, oh, we've already read that out. Let's move! I forgot about that little detail. Um, okay. What I'm gonna do is Zerum yeah. Capsule. Let's move! And then Azure Flame Slap. Gather on my blade! See how much damage this does. We did a lot of damage to Griana's aura before it could even do anything to us. But of course, it's not gonna be that simple, is it? Shiva's breath, there is that icy breath that it warned us about. Um, swap I leave this in to you. Sarah. All right, let's get this started. And I think we're a bit better off doing right. that Time and then. One. I think we're better off getting the 200 on our threat as opposed to plus 50. I don't know exactly what the map is behind it. 
kill. We're just throwing everything at Briano's aura. And also we got pretty lucky with a bunch of crits in a row. Tons okay. of damage there. Arcus activate. Let's charge up a Rokuria. Divine Force again. Ah well. Cut. Missed out on another crit, that's a bit of a shame. Here I go! Emma can charge up a Phobia, I suppose. Altair Cannon. An incredibly strong mirage. Sorry, it's the everyone. yellow. This matters. doesn't look too good. Um, yeah, let's Athelus on Arcus Emma. activate. Hut. <laughs> Thank you very much. And then we're actually going to charge up a Remedy Oratorio. I don't Time recall to if Remedy Oratorio revives. If it does, great. If not, that's fine. Wow, we're seeing Remedy Oratorio the still. Uh, this is a big climactic fight. Why not heal my the whole thing? Finale. Why not skip nothing? We've been kicking these three out of four. Okay. It does, but it doesn't restore statuses, which is a little bit weird. I would think that would be like okay. the main thing it would do, but I'm counting on oh, well. you. Understood. Switch Laura back in. We'll use a radiant wind. Keep her of ready to go. Uh, yep. Bolster that up. Show up your crescent mirror. Uh, did a lot of damage. Crescent Mirror will actually be very good because I believe every single attack that Grealis Aura has is reflected by a Crescent Mirror. Um, I believe they are all arts based. We didn't do much there. A little bit more on that. This doesn't one. look too good. We can only seven delay for yet. that is incredible. Uh, uh, that's impassion. Yeah. On Laura. Laura, one of the heaviest Try hitters this. in the entire game. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bolster Here that I go. back up. Let's charge up another Phantom Phobia. It's my turn. And I think honestly, Atira does. Arcus I can guarantee a full heal. No, for you don't. Us. She was breath. <clears throat> Little bit of damage, but not all that my much, turn. honestly. Uh, as for Laura, I think we're good to just do a normal attack. I'll bet you up. Maybe not the smartest. Most of our time, but still. You have my thanks. Uh, once we get up to a hundred, I think we're just gonna throw out the radiant lion immediately. I think that's just a good idea for us to do. Still chipping away. Uh, I could awaken his call right now. I'm going to. Again, we're throwing everything at Briano Sora. Yeah, maybe I should have waited for higher CP total, but... Oh well. Um... Yeah, let's play Dragon. The burn damage will be very good. Altair Cannon looks incredible, by the way. It's not as flashy as Zodiac Ray, but it's close. To ash. And getting another burn would have been incredible, but yeah, it wasn't likely. Ah! And we can retreat now. Shoot his breath will do decent damage. 
Right. Does Elliot have any way to bolster? No. Do we have any food that gives 20? 15 there. There we go. Tomato stew. Delicious. My turn. And now, Radiant Line, I think this might training. do it. Honestly. Let's see. Let's find out. It is a crit, it is Laura, she does have a plus 50. That did it! It seemed like it was the easiest fight. I think it's just because I actually we should keep going. didn't fuck around on this one. The rest of them, I kind of Great. half assed, honestly, I feel but this no one, here. I've got full it. blown, everything there. Nocturne Bell 2. <laughs> Naturally. Very nice. Ugh, did we defeat it? It felt as though we did at least. Impressive. It seems you can back up your words. Up there! I'm surprised Grianos can even fly after that. You don't plan to keep on fighting, do you? <sighs> no, I think that will do for today. Poor Grianos needs a rest for one thing. Vida. Well, Emma, you've demonstrated the strength of your resolve. Still, I don't think you need me to remind you. That resolve only gains worth when it's seen through to the end. Yes, I know. I'll find a path through life on my own. And I will stop you! <laughs> oh, I can't see you succeeding in that regard, but feel free to try. I'll leave the last of the treasures in your hands. I'll see you again soon. At the Infernal Rite. There she goes. I'm curious as what she was referring to in her parting words, however. Yeah, what's this Infernal Rite supposed to be? So how much more does she know, I wonder? About what? <laughs> what an unpleasant woman. Well, forget about her for now. Let's go and collect that Zemirian ore. Yeah, you're right. And we do get a character note update on Emma. In, faces of, in the face of the shocking truth about the duty she worked to adhere to, she realizes what uh, she wants to live her own life. We are going to collect the ore, and then we're going to end off the episode in that order. So, yeah. Barrel. And this is the fourth, which means we've been to every spirit shrine we are able to visit. Now, there should be plenty to make Falmar's new Tachi. We just need to get this back to George and help him with his work however we can. Indeed, we need to contact Professor Schmidt to request his assistance too. Do we'll hurry back to the Courageous then? And we will indeed return to the Courageous next time. But until then, see you guys later!